every Relay.app workflow starts with a trigger. So this is the most important thing to get right. And I'm gonna quickly show you how to set it up and check that it's working. So when you add a trigger, you'll be offered a few different choices. You can start runs manually, you can do them on a recurring schedule, you can have a webhook from one of your internal systems, you can start running runs in batches, and I'll have future videos that show all of those. But in most cases, people wanna start a workflow when something happens in one of your apps. And our most common trigger is when an email is received in Gmail. Once you have this trigger setup panel on the right, you'll see that every trigger, se trigger setup panel has three top level components. First, it tells you what the triggering event is, in this case, an email received. Then you have a set of filters, which specify which subset of emails you wanna trigger for. And then finally, you have this trigger preview box. And this is super important because this shows you which items would have triggered your workflow if you had already set it up. And what I'll show you in this video is how to adjust your filters and then confirm with the trigger preview box that you've set up your filter correctly. So what you can see here is these are all of the most recent emails that have come into to my email inbox. And let's say I want to create a, a trigger uh, filter that only captures emails that relate to our G2 reviews. The way I can do that is I can add a filter. I can say subject contains G2. And then you'll see this trigger preview box live updates and it immediately shows you that every single one of the emails it's going to catch is one that has uh, G2 in it. And if you want to make this more sophisticated, you can say it goes to a certain address, from a certain address, has a specific label. But whenever you're setting up your trigger, you want to adapt your filters, confirm that it's right with the trigger preview box. And then once you feel confident that your trigger is going to work on exactly the right objects, you can move on to add your subsequent steps.